Korean fans. Anyan, hello everyone. This is Shox. Okay, second question. How is your life in China? I know that you have worked a lot for your life in China because you have to stay here much longer than MSI in Brazil. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a challenge to pack for uh, China because we're going to be here for five weeks, so a lot of different temperatures. And I am someone who likes to bring a lot and wear a lot of different outfits. But I finally succeeded, and uh, everything's going well so far. Okay, next question. Uh, as far as I know, you have joined this World Series in season four. So. What, what do you prepare you know, before the World Series? Uh, actually, the first time I was at Worlds was season two, but I was an, uh, then an independent journalist with SK Gaming. And then I joined the Riot whole circus uh, from season three on. So I think my preparation has always been the same, just before being able to watch a lot of VODs of regions that I don't get to watch that often. And that's mainly, I would say, LPL and LMS and then the emerging regions because I naturally get to see a lot of EU LCS, NA LCS in Korea because it's a good uh, time zone in Europe. Question, have you looked around Wuhan, China? Well, I believe the city is so far from the hotels so maybe not. Uh, yeah, I always try and take a bit of time to explore the city, even though this is quite big and we're away from the center. But I was able to visit the Yellow Crane Tower. I went to sing karaoke once and I had some good food. So I think I've seen the sights of Wuhan. Okay, and many people criticize that EU LCS teams are not strong enough, but actually Misfits and Fnatic did great this year. Uh, I'm very proud of Fnatic and Misfits. They came out a bit, well, very unexpected. Not a lot of people um, expected them to do well. I still am sad for G2 because I think that even though Misfits and Fnatic got through, G2 has a really good quality in best of series, which would be the next stage. But uh, they got drawn into a very difficult group with very, very good teams. So I hope the best now for Fnatic and Misfits because they've already proven that they are worthy of our support and that they can fight. Next question. I know it's only your second week in the group stage, but who is the most impressive interview? Yeah. The most impressive interview I've had, um, well, I've had a really fun one uh, just now. I interviewed iBoy from EDG. He's a very young player. He only, only played about 20 professional games, and now he's on stage here, and he is killing everybody and he was great in the interview um, also very confident and funny and I just think he's a great personality for this world well until you now last world series I believe the most favorite was a Korean SDK team however this year everything's up in the air and it's very fun personally what do you think it's always a uh, very fun when there's more teams that can gun for the summoner's cup but I also think that Every world, people say, oh, this Korean team isn't that strong. But it turns out that when the tournament goes on, Korean teams just adapt and learn the best out of any other team, which makes them the best at the end, which is what happened with Samsung last year. They began and they were OK, they were good. And then by the end, they almost beat SKT. So um, I think that's still a reality. But also there are some teams like RNG that has impressed me a lot. And I feel like they could go very far as well. Next question. The main interview is being conducted by a Chinese in, uh, reported Candice and have you seen him? Yes, I've met uh, I've met Candice. She, she's lovely. Obviously, we also always run into each other because when the game is about to end and we are a bit late, we are running to the stage to do our interviews. Uh, I'm a bit jealous. She gets to be on the stage in front of the whole crowd, but she's doing an absolutely lovely job and impressive because she's translating. She's doing it in English and in Mandarin and interviewing all the players. So, yeah, big thumbs up for Candice. Well, and I know there are a lot of like female hosts, even like up in the NALCS. And what do you think about it? Are you positive that there are more female casters? Well, I'm very happy that there's a more female host and female casters overall. I love that Frost Curran is getting a really big role and she's also finally getting the credit she deserves as being on the crew. And I think that's all going very well. I can only hope for, for more women even next year. Yes, and the finals will be held in the Beijing Olympic Stadium, and it's a stadium that can hold about 90,000 people. It will be a whole new experience. Maybe. I cannot wait to see the bird's nest full with League of Legends fans. The only similar memory we have is Korea because then in Sangam Stadium we had 40,000 people. They were very loud and very excited. So I think this will be a similar experience. And um, I do kind of hope that there will be a LPL team in the final for that because I think that would just be so great for the atmosphere. I also think it'll be uh, an LPL versus LCK um, final championship match. And I think that would be a good one for this year.
What do you want to achieve at this world? What do I want to achieve at this world? Well, uh, as I'm doing interviews, I think that it's really a chance to show uh, a unique side of players. But on the other side, the players are doing so many interviews, so they're very used to saying, you know, uh, what the team wants them to say. And for me, it's my goal to kind of bring out some personality in them and kind of make a funny moment or an emotional moment and hope that they can be themselves on camera with me. Uh, thank you guys so much for following me. As always, I really hope that I can visit Korea again soon, and I will see you guys then. Kansamida.